Hey guys, this is Dow Phoenix, and now we're checking out Track and Field for the NES. Uh, the reason why this one's better is because you can actually choose the event that you want to play. So you can check out all of them without having to go through them in a sequence and failing, obviously. Um, plus, I think there was more events than there was in the arcade as well, if I'm not mistaken. We're going to go ahead and do the 100 meter dash, since why not? Again, we're the white guy versus the black guy, because racism. Right? <laughs> there we go. Let's come on. Doesn't have the samples from the other game, but let me go ahead and catch up with you, KTS. Oh, come on. That's not fair. I don't know who won there. Holy crap. That was so close. I didn't know what the button mapping was, so, uh, <laughs> okay. Now we're into the long jump here. This will be just like the other one, I'm sure. Fouled it. Dang, that was a long jump though. Holy crap. Just gotta just gotta do a little bit better this time. So here we go, people. With our Tom Stella character. Nice. Made it. I guess they realized that it was a little bit too tough before, so they. Gave people a chance to actually succeed. And that was way too much angle. But I jumped pretty high. If it was a high jump, I would have did pretty good. <laughs> That's okay, because he's doing his little squats now. Alright, now we got the hurdles here. This one you gotta jump in sequence with the running. Uh, what? What happened there? Oh, I did a false start. That's what it was. Okay. I was wondering what the hell happened there. Okay, so um, that's not how you jump then. It's up on the D-pad. Okay, got it. KTS is going to kick my butt this time for sure. Well, maybe not. Ah, he did. Yeah. Well, if I knew the controls, I mean, come on, right? Let's start over from that one again. At least, like I said, we can actually pick the event. So we'll go ahead and do the hurdles again. They had to make the controls all funky and crap. Yeah, get in the rhythm. Oh, no, that's unfair. Cheater. <laughs> it's so unfair because he catches up with you. As soon as you start breaking away from him, he, uh, yeah, whatever. Javelin throw time, just like we did before. Couldn't do it right last time. Ah, maybe I'll get a good one here. I don't know. We'll see. Looks pretty good. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Well, hey, we got the javelin throw down at least. <laughs> uh, it's definitely easier here. Yeah. See if we can get a little bit further this time. It looks like it's not gonna be. It's cutting a little short this time. Yep, that's okay. The first one was a winner. So let's try it one more time. One more time with the throw, with the javelin. Oh, that's a beautiful one there. That's going to go far. Looks like it will anyways. I don't know. Yeah, it is definitely. Holy crap. 79 meters. That's a long throw. Almost 80. So that is fantastic. Let's see what you got, KTS, huh? Uh, I guess that's not going to show him, actually. It takes you back to uh, Nassau Lampoon's vacation, doesn't it? Oh, the skeet shoot. Okay, I forgot how this one's even played. Holy crap, that's a tough one, man. It's kind of cool that you can play a light gun game like this without a light gun, though. Actually, I wonder if this does support the light gun. No ID on that one.
You have to be like really freaking good at this, man. This one's a tough one for sure. Let's try it again. You have to be like frame perfect on this. No! Ah, that's not fair. Look at him crying. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was doing too, buddy. Just not with this ugly of a face. Alright, so us keep shooting. Let's try the triple jump. I'm not sure how this one's supposed to even work, but here we go. Yeah, didn't even jump, apparently. <laughs> didn't even jump that one. All right, let's try it again then. I fouled? Oh, I guess I was on the line, this sucks. Yeah, I don't understand this one at all, people. No, so close. I could not get the Mario triple jump down, man. That sucks. Okay. Well, that's that one, you know. As you see, like I said, this one's got a good variety of events that you can suck at. Let's try archery now. No idea how this one... I have no idea how this one even remotely would work. Okay. Gotcha. Huh. Well, that was a total fail. Bam! Got a shot in. Ooh, nice, nice. A little bit better. Okay. Really? That's all it was? A hundred? Well, how do I... I... I don't understand this one, honestly. Like, that should be a bullseye. It's hitting in the middle there. I mean, I know there's like the little target thing it's showing there, but... I have no idea how you adjust your aim for that. Guess we'll try it again. Oh, I don't even need to hit the fire button. Okay. Oh, okay. I got to hold the... Okay, I got it now. I think I got better understanding. Okay, I think we have a good idea now how this one works. I just suck at it because it's really difficult. I'm doing it way too early also, I've noticed. But yeah, at least those were better shots than the first time. You just have to use the D-pad and you need to hold it in just a little bit to get a little bit of angle. And, uh, I'm sure you guys can probably do a lot better than me. Let's try it one more time, though. It seems like the targets move at varying speeds. That's not bad. A little better than it was before. Nice. Well, we might actually get close to the qualifying score. Maybe not. No, nah, I don't think we're gonna know. Uh, too high up there. Yeah. That's a bummer. Oh well. Archery just was not in our calling. I used to do archery in uh, high school and uh, wasn't that great at it. But I was at least able to use a bow properly, so that's kind of cool. Uh, the last one we got is high jump. So, we'll see how this one goes. Yeah, that... Okay. <laughs> Not sure about that one. Okay, let's try it again. I d didn't even jump. <laughs> of course, why not? Okay, can we at least jump over the pole one time, people? Yes! No! 
Why do you curve your legs back, you idiot? <laughs> what kind of human being just jumps like that and doesn't curve their leg back for a high jump? I've seen these events before. Okay, let's try the high jump one more time. And then we'll call it quits for track and field, but track and field 2 is actually a lot better because you can actually swim and shit in that one. Oh, you have to adjust your angle mid uh, thing, I guess, or... Yeah, I think you probably do. Well, let's try it again, people. Yes! I made it, I think. Woo! We made it. We made a high jump. Ah, well, I made it at least one time, so that's pretty good. So, this was uh, track and field for the NES, which is a pretty good port of the arcade game. And it does have the added benefit of being able to play all the different events. Unfortunately, it does not have the voiceover samples, which were kind of shitty to begin with. And you could barely even understand what they were saying, but it was a nice touch. So, um, yeah, that was, uh, that was track and field for the NES. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to tell me about all the Olympic video games you guys have played, which ones you like and don't like. Uh, but till then, Down Phoenix out.